want to give a little update on the uh, RCP-40 Warhawk car that I'm building. It's based off a of P-40 World War II airplane. Um, with the cockpit, you can see all that. Uh, really been wrenching hard on it lately. They got all the hydraulics hooked up today and the uh, got it on the ground and uh, tested everything out. It's working pretty good, so I'm going to show you. Got a couple levers right inside the door here. One of them is going to raise it up in the air, so all four tires are off the ground when I park it, and the other one is going to operate the rear steering. So I'll fire it up here, and uh, hopefully it won't catch on fire or leak a ton of fluid. Everything works like it should. i uh, been doing a bunch of riveting on it. That's what all the nose cone. I got the whole sides done on both sides. Uh, the cowl steering link gets hooked up. Matter of fact, as long uh, when I burn this last weld, I'll actually be able to take this thing out for a ride. All the brakes are hooked up. Here's the levers inside the cockpit. This one operates your rear steering, and this one does your up and down when you park it to uh, raise the vehicle up. The steering wheel still comes off. I don't have the dash in it yet, but there's your shifter for your transmission. And there's your dash right there up on the shelf. I'll put that in once I get a little bit further and won't be getting overspray on it. But there's the rear cylinder. That's the one that raises it up. And then there's your tie rod cylinder for your steering. And then up here in the front, underneath all this cowling, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. There's another hydraulic cylinder right there. That's the one that lifts it up to the front. So there you go. There's the update for uh, right at the end of January. Hopefully I'll get this thing skinned up the rest of the way. This week I got to do all this. And then this top piece I'm doing uh, Lycra, which is a uh, spandex type material um, infused with uh, fiberglass gel. Uh, I've never done that before, so we'll see how that turns out. And again, I've never built an airplane car either, but yeah, it's doing pretty cool so far, except for me blowing out this rear cylinder. But right on, man. I'll put a little bit update here in a couple weeks. Hopefully, I have this thing out and doing some donuts in it and getting crazy and maybe flipping or something. Later.